Wear that chalk hat for the kids did. And he shows them burly white. Just a jackknife as old Mac keeps Bay. And he keeps it out of sight. You know when that shark bites with his feet dead. Scarlet billows, they stop to spread. Fancy gloves though, where's old Mac Heath, babe? So there's never, oh, never a trace of red. Now on the sidewalk, oh, one Sunday morning, lies oh, a body. Just losing life. Someone sneaking round that corner. Could have someone be mad tonight? There's a tugboat down by the river, don't you know? Well, I see men just drooping on down. I see men is just. Now we're going to do another dish that's not on the menu and it's one of our specialties. And I'll tell you what, as soon as they mention we have this, it goes like hotcakes. All right, we're going to put some olive oil in the, uh, in the pan. And the big thing is to sweat your garlic. And the, don't be afraid to brown that garlic. That's what makes that, makes it work because then you're eating like raw garlic. You want to brown it, get all that flavor out there, and it goes in, and if you don't want to eat the garlic, pull it out. But you have to brown it to get the flavor into the oil. Okay, now we're gonna, first we're gonna, we flour the Chilean sea bass. This is our Chilean sea bass special. He's flouring it, and he's gonna pan sear it. It's a nice eight ounce piece of Chilean sea bass. And it's usually served over pasta. Now, if you don't want the pasta, you say, well, you know what? I really want to watch my starches and stuff like that. Just tell them. Tell them I don't want no butter, I don't want no salt. Whatever the case may be, we'll do it for you. As we're going along, we can do this. Everything's made to order here. Now he's going to brown the garlic. And we get that garlic in there working. Fresh plum tomatoes. butter. You got to keep those arteries going. If you stop eating butter, you're not going to go to the doctors anymore because you'll be healthy. Parsley and basil. And that's all incorporating together. And it's all about making it work. And that's how you make it work. A lot of people say, oh, I don't like string beans and I don't like spinach. Well, you know why? You don't like it because you have to cook it. You have to cook it with seasoning. Not just throw a little bit of dab of butter and salt and pepper and boil it from a pot. That doesn't work. Now this is all incorporating together. Now this gets hot pepper also. We put a little hot pepper flakes in there. If you can't eat spice, you have to tell us. Certain things I cannot, certain things I cannot take it out, and that's the gravy, our house sauce. We can't take it out of it because we make it. But as long as something else is being made to order, we can do it. Now you put a little marinara sauce in there, which goes in the chili and sea bass. You got the white wine and a little stock. That's all gonna reduce, and then we'll serve it over your choice of pasta. In today's case, I think we'll do it over spaghetti, all right? Our chili and sea bass is still working. Now for our trifecta. Again, olive oil. We're going to do some broccoli de rabe. Garlic. God forbid you should be without garlic in an Italian restaurant. Now we're getting the, we're getting the garlic toasted up, and then we're going to saute the broccoli de rabe. And the broccoli de rabe is going to get salt, pepper, a little hot pepper, and a little stock. 
And that's just to make it a, a, a little dab of butter. Again, the butter could come out. Now that'll all work together. We'll put a little stock in there and then it'll reduce. It'll make the broccoli rabe a little more tender and then it'll get served to you. And that's going on this special that we have today. But if you want broccoli rabe, it's in the house. So just order it. We have broccoli and we have broccoli rabe. Broccoli rabe is Italian broccoli. It's bitter. It's got a bitter taste. Years ago, growing up, nobody knew what it was. And really, you didn't get it in a restaurant, you had to get it out of your house. Now, everybody knows about broccoli and rabe. I went to a seafood joint, and they had broccoli and rabe. It wasn't even Italian. It became popular, just like wings. They used to throw the wings away before. Now you can't afford to buy them. Okay, the broccoli rabe is done. I mean, it's cooking. We're going to go right over to the Chilean sea bass. We're going to top it over our spaghettis. Let's get that. Now you got to smell this, this Chilean sea bass. This is like unbelievable. I say it over and over and over again. I wish you guys could smell what's going on in this kitchen. Again, a little love around the plate. And this makes a great dish. And be hungry, I'm telling you. Be hungry when you eat this, but it's a great dish. I know what I'm having for dinner tonight already. Oh, man. How's our chicken parm doing in there? Ready? Okay. Few people can finish this. This is no put on, not because we're on TV. This is what you'll expect when you come here at La Piazza. Everything is not because of the cameras here. This is the way we are at La Piazza. And it's the real McCoy. Okay. Put a little love. Just a little bit on the sides here. And that's our chicken parm. Maybe I'll change my mind. I might eat this instead of the Chilean sea bass. And the side of penny that we promised you. Okay? Now we're gonna plate up our um, trifecta. Okay, we got three fillets. They're petite fillets. Garlic with mashed potatoes on the plate, and you're going to get sautéed broccoli rabe, and then of course the three fillets, which makes it a trifecta. You just got a plain grilled fillet, one wrapped in bacon, and the fillet Montello, which has been a signature dish of mine for about 20 years now. And of course the filet Montello, if you get that by itself, you could expect that to be twice the size that it is there. 10 ounce filet we use on all our filet dishes. Okay, now we're gonna to top it off with some demi-glaze. Demi-glaze is, is a process in itself. And really, you guys at home don't have the time to do it, but if you do, Get your favorite cookbook out there and read it, and I'll tell you how to make it. But you can make it with beef stock or whatever, okay? And that's, and that's the dish, three fillets. I'm still deciding what I'm gonna eat here. I'm getting hungrier by the minute. Now, this may look all exotic for you, and we showed you some of the best that comes out of La Piazza here. The chicken parm, of course, is for a simple palate, Macaroni is for the simple palate. We have a full service bar here. We have wines for the simple taste and more exotic wines. Now we're gonna, we're gonna give you the raviolis. Now, one thing we don't do